Uh, so I do want to get to another issue because uh, you had an op-ed, which I published on Chai95.com, on Israel security. It came out on the day of Purim, which obviously has passed now. We're getting in Passover mode. But just want to thank you for your strong sta- stand on Israel and just see if you have anything to add. A lot of events have happened in the last week or so since that oh, op-ed came boy, out. Boy, Adam, they, they have. I, it's just, it's, I mean, every day is a new, a new day when we look to, to the Middle East. And, uh, you know, I wrote that article on that because it really struck me as a most appropriate time to tie together uh, the real life uh, reliving of history almost when you when you look at Haman in Persia of the uh, of the uh, days gone by with Jews and the Mordecai and uh, Esther and uh, now uh, the uh, uh, you know Mahmoud uh, you know uh, Kakmanajad here in in in, in, uh, in Iran who the same threats uh, exist today the the reliving of history is something that uh, is just most uh, most amazing, and if we do not learn from history, we're going to repeat it. And so I look and I say, Israel, um, understand we are with you. I am with you because of uh, because of um, our common heritage. And uh, and anyone who stands up and wishes to think genocide, to think destruction, uh, must be opposed. And we must stand together of those who uh, who uh, hold common beliefs and common values in God and. Uh, in our Judeo-Christian viewpoint, we must stand together because the enemies are common.